If you have the problem that you can't select a text inside of a website and you want to actually select this one, because I noticed this here with the App Store of Apple. So since like two weeks, I can't copy out any of the notes. For example, here, this is DaVinci Resolve and I like to go from time to time here into what's new and see the version history. And then for example, take some of the stuff that they created and feed it into ChatGPT or write my script, but I can't even copy the text. How can you copy the text? In this video, I will show you how simple this actually is. So in order to make this work, you have to have a browser that can give you an inspector. I use Google Chrome, so I can right click anywhere here and say here, inspect. This will open here these advanced tools and I can actually select any of the text fields and everything. In the past, this is solution number one, you could always select, for example, here a text. So here in Google Chrome, you can select this little icon here to show you whatever you want. So I can, for example, come here to this, and then here I see this, and this is the text selector, and I could now copy the text from here. But if you have a lot of text, that's actually very unhandy. Like this works, this is what I did in the past, but because I have to copy a lot of text here, I don't want that. Why is it even in the first place that some website can turn off that we as a user can select something? And it's actually very simple. So for the second solution, it's exactly the same steps. You, so you open this one here, the inspector, so right click, and now instead of selecting anything here, we come here to the top to the header. And we make this one a bit bigger so that we can see here the styles. And you have to select the body class, not the header, the body class. And then if we go down here, here on the body, we will find user select and that's what they changed. Permanently, they say here user select none. But if I come in here and say, for example, auto, now I can select the text, even go back in here into ratings, select the text, I can now select everything. So this is the one thing you have to change, user select from non to auto. You can also search for it if you don't find it, you can come up here into this field and then for example, user, and then it shows you here, user select and then change that from non to auto. Unfortunately, if you reload a website, it will always load the code how it's intended to be programmed. So every time when you open this website fresh, you have to come in and change that. But now, as long as you stay on the website, I can even close the inspector. I can come in here and select everything I want, even comments and stuff like that, everything on the website. And this is how you solve that problem, how to select text on a website if it's turned on. Of. I hope you found this helpful. I'm Daniel. On this channel, it's normally all about filmmaking, DaVinci Resolve, Final Cut Pro, and this kind of stuff. So if you're into that, hit like, subscribe, ding a ding in the bang bang gong if this was helpful for you. See you in the next video. I'm Daniel. Bye.